Hello Captains, the Doctor here again. Welcome back to our free-to-play playthrough with Rami Summers here. Tactical character, we are level 44 now. In the last mission, we did the Factory, so we are in the Cardassian Struggle storyline. We are continuing that storyline today. We'll go to the Cardassian storyline. After the Factory, you will find the New Link. Now, this is the last part of the new revamp to the Cardassian storyline. After the new link, we start Second Wave, which is an older five-part series, featured episode series that came out a long time ago that they have integrated into the storyline. So that will start a five-part mission story that is really, really, really cool. But before we get to that, we do need to get to new link so we can get to that. So here we go. Now this mission is not really too long, so this won't be a, a very long video. The changeling named Loss has deceived the other changelings in the Link into thinking we are exterminating them. You must convince them of the truth. Naaman has decrypted the coordinates for the new Link. They designate a location in the Alpha Quadrant, in the Orion system. This changeling named Loss has deceived the other changelings in his Link into thinking we are exterminating them and that we massacred the Gamma Quadrant Changelings as well. You must have Naaman help you convince them of the truth. Alright, travel to the Orias system. For this, we will get Tetrion weaponry, or a mine launcher, or a chroniton torpedo. Very good quality on all that. If you needed some new equipment, for example, and you wanted to grind this mission, you could grind out some Mark X rare tetrion beams for your ship or a dual beam bank as well and then a chroniton torpedo and really have a nice build until you get of course to more um better hardware basically so there is an option for you how right can there. i help you all right let's beam up And let's warp out. And then we will find the Orias system, Orias 3, which is down here. Now, I, uh, since the last video, I have not made any other changes to the character. I just went ahead and sold everything in my inventory. Apparently, I made a triple, too. I didn't even know about. Uh, I sold everything in my inventory at the vendor at DS9 down there. So, I've got a pretty clear inventory right now. And uh, up to 70,000 energy credits, pretty much, right now. People have asked... Uh, what resources am I using to, in order to get some of this gear I got in the last video? Uh, quite simply, just by doing what I normally do. Collecting all the loot, everything you can collect while you're playing a mission, and then going to sell it to a vendor. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to make some more energy credits, you can do extra things. You can go do patrols. Uh, more missions, you can repeat missions and just collect even more loot and sell that loot and then you will gain Betrayal more money. Betrayal wears a familiar face as infiltrators from other dimensions attempt to establish a foothold in the Bajor sector. Will the wormhole lead to the other side of the mirror? Only the prophets know what can restore the walls between worlds. Thank you, Leonard Nimoy. And it's a shame, an absolute shame that that what he just said about the mirror universe doesn't really apply anymore to the current Cardassian struggle, the current Cardassian missions, because there were several mirror universe vision uh, visions missions that they have removed and now revamped the Cardassian struggle with. So it made sense before with what Spock is saying there with the previous missions they had for the Cardassian struggle. But now that they've changed the missions, his speech doesn't really fit in with where we are in the story right now. It does a little bit, but not so much. So it is kind of strange how they, um, how they did that. They kind of made his speech a little less meaningful, which is a shame. Let's begin the new link.
We've arrived at the Uriah system. There's an M-class planet ahead, but I am detecting Jim Hadar vessels in the vicinity. I doubt they will allow us to reach the planet. Well, you know what? That's not a problem for me, hon. The Jem Hadar will not likely be interested in negotiation. I'm afraid you'll have to fight. You mean like that? <laughs> you mean fight my way through like that? Because a waste. Still, <laughs> the nice thing about Jem Hadar is that you can always breed more. That was fairly easy. I love that, man. I just went in and killed everything. So that's the power of this ship right now, and we're only using common things. We're not even using old, not even uncommon weapons. We're using just common weapons. It's all about how you buff things. You do it right, and you'll have a good time. Warning. Ship is Four shields failing. Okay, this ship is a little tough. This is a Jim Hadar battleship. They are a little more tough. And my Alpha was out, but now I've got Omega, so we're good. Almost, man. Look at that. Almost. I just need to get a hit through his shields. <laughs> there we go. There we go. To think, I will be the first Forta to meet the new Link. That battleship was a little tougher, but with some piloting skills there, um, you basically fly in with an escort, fly in, do a bunch of shooty shooty, fly out, let your stuff, your bridge officer powers come back, cool down. Fly out, fly back in, kill him, kill him dead. Ooh, got a bunch of things going on here. Look at all those turrety things. AOE go. <laughs> And that, my friends, that, my friends, is piloting skills. Those are some Skittles right there. Practice makes perfect. How you fly a ship really, really, really makes a big difference. We have arrived on Orias. I am detecting Jim Hadar life signs ahead. We should be on guard. Yep, how you fly a ship really makes a difference. I love the you purple. You have to admire the devotion of the Jem'Hadar. They never seem to tire of throwing their lives away for the Founders. I love the purple here. Absolutely incredible. What just happened? Oh, cutscene, okay. There it is. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. <laughs> the Great to Lake. Think my gods slumber below, dreaming in their link. It's a bunch of goo, but sure, okay. It is hard to imagine that it's a life form. All right, Jim Hadar, so we're gonna do one of them and one of them and one of them. So remember, I am using um, target optics. I've got 
rally cry, and then I am hitting ambush, and I'm doing a lot of damage with all of that. Uh, I also could do fire on my mark when available. I've also got a grenade. Now, I've also got strike team, which is another ability that I think I just received recently that I haven't even talked about yet. So let's talk about it now. I, acc I accidentally just activated it. Um, basically, it's got a four minute cooldown. That's a long time. There, I just reduced it to a minute and 12. <laughs> Um, so basically, Strike Team is your go-to tactical ground power, your captain power. Um, you want to use Strike Team a lot. Strike Team on the ground is very important. There's also one for space. Um, this basically is going to give you an all damage increase for 60 seconds, so it's one minute. Um, it also gives you a critical chance and critical severity increase, and you'll notice it's also doing it for my bridge officers. So that means anybody in my team receives strike team. So uh, that also means if you are in an STF with somebody or you are in a team with a an actual player, another player in the game, and you hit your strike team, it will affect them and give them that all damage increase and that crit chance and crit severity. So it is a team-based thing. It's a, it's, a, it's a self and team-based ability. It will help you and it will help your team. It is an ability that you want to use. Science has their own version of it, and engineering has their own version of it that do different things. So the tactical version is just more damage, more crit severity, and more crit chance. Very important when you're on um, hard missions or in STFs and you've got a big boss uh, and you need more DPS, uh, hit that and your whole team receives it. So this is the go-to ability for ground tech. It will increase. We're at strike team one now. It'll increase in level. And again, there's a space a space version of it as well. So keep that in mind. I'll go over that one when we get that. I will go ahead and hit it now for these guards. And as you can see, not a problem at all. Easily take down anybody. Okay, oh, I got some catcher cell white. Now you can use, I think it's you can- It's almost sacrilegious to have you here. I hope the founders will understand the necessity and forgive me. I think you can take Catcher Cell White and a triple and make a Gamma triple, Gamma Quadrant triple. In fact, I made, ooh, I got a superior beam tech weapon upgrade. Wow, that's going to help us, guys. That's awesome. I'll go over that tech upgrade in the end and see what we can do with that, because that's going to help us there. Drops like that are incredible, especially with resources low as low as they are for us. To whoever finds this pad, know that what you are reading is an act of disobedience, and if you are reading this, I am most likely dead. We are programmed to believe that the Founders are gods and infallible, but lately I have begun to question Loss's orders. Some of his explanations no longer make sense. For example, we have been monitoring the transmissions from local systems, and none of them have any mention of this crusade against the Founders. One of the brothers says he went to a facility where Catcher Cell White is manufactured. He said there was a Vorta there, but this Vorta is kept almost a prisoner and does not command the Jim Hadar there. Still, obedience brings victory, victory, and victory is life. Who are we to question the motives of a god, and when a god lies, is it still a lie?
Come on, the human. other Vorta are going to be so envious when they hear about this. Let's not jump off the cliff. Okay, he's a tougher one. Dang. I can run faster. Personal shield losing power. Ah, huh, taken care of. Reach the lake. I think we're gonna need all our powers here because we're gonna have to defeat, de defeat, defeat the changeling, I think. We'll see. At least we used to have to in the old mission. And it's not really a lake. It's a life form. Okay, Founders. Interesting. Have you come to finish the job of exterminating us, Solid? We are not here to hurt you. You have been deceived by Loss. Impossible. We have linked with Loss. He is in the link as we speak. We know all that he knows. Then he must have some way of deceiving you. It is true that he awoke before us. Let us summon him to answer these charges. We have our own witness as well. It's true, Great One. These people are not hunting you. The Great Link remains. The Dominion has a treaty with the Alpha Quadrant species. This creature lies. You have joined with me. You know all that I know. Then you should have no qualms about linking. No. These solids have poisoned your minds. I will not be forced to link by them. See, I don't get that, because he was already linked, and they didn't detect it then, so why would linking now work? But anyway, we got to defeat loss. Wish these other founders would help, that'd be nice. You have to get him when he's in his liquid state or something like that. Where'd he go? Although it is unfortunate we had to resort to violence to force Lost into his liquid form, we are grateful for your assistance. Okay, I guess we I did it. We shall now be able to link with him and learn the whole truth of our past. If you are telling the truth, you have nothing more to fear from us. But we request that you leave us in peace. 
we have no interest in dealing with your kind. I hope in time you change your mind, but we shall respect your wishes. Well, it has been a pleasure knowing you. I will remain here and serve the Founders. They have been without Avorta and have much to learn about their siblings in the Gamma Quadrant. I know the Founders may seem ungrateful to you, but what can you expect from a god? Still, you have my gratitude, for whatever the gratitude of an insignificant servant is worth. And that's it. <laughs> they all live happily ever after, I guess. Kind of a quick wrap-up to the whole founder thing, but that's really it. Uh-oh. Although you have slain our brothers, we have orders to allow you to leave the system. But you are never to return. And let it be known among your peoples that this system belongs to us, and you are not welcome. Great. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. I don't think we could take on that many. Not that many battleships. Those battleships are pretty tough, actually. Ready to depart. I guess that'll warn other ships. Okay, let's report to Commander Sirish. Congratulations! You have defeated the True Way and made peace with the Alpha Changelings. I have transmitted messages to the major powers of the galaxy, advising them to avoid the Araya system. I have one final request for you. Please return to DS9 at your convenience, so that I may thank you personally. Of course. Um, so I don't really need this Tetrion stuff, because I'm going to stick with Phaser. I'll prob probably take the Torpedo and sell it. See, it's probably worth the most, right? 35, 9, 38. Yeah, maybe the uh, Dual Beam Bank is actually worth a little bit more. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll take that. And Congratulations. Selling. So now we're 45. Okay, we get a promotion to Rear Admiral Upper Half now. Congratulations. You've proven yourself to be invaluable to Starfleet and earned the respect of your fellow officers. Return to Earth Space Dock. Yes, I would like to do this promotion. In fact, we'll do it in this video. Also, we're getting a new officer. Um... Let's see. Ooh, we're getting a very rare officer. Now, here's a good opportunity to pick a good officer I may want to use for the future because this is a very rare officer. So, it's going to be the best quality you can get here. Got a Bajoran male, a human male, and a human male. Well, none of those suit me. I want females, not males. That sucks. So, we'll just take anything right now simply because... I need it. Let's look at their powers here. Quantum Order 2. Okay, Reverse Shield Polarity 3. Energy Siphon 3. Hyperonic Radiation 2. Attack Pattern Delta 3. And Smoke Grenade 3. It might be interesting to put that ability on a character so they at least have that power. I'll take that character. Uh, do not join right now, though. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is actually go back to DS9 because Sarish wanted to see me on DS9. So let's go see her first and see what she has to say. Then we will go to Earth Space Dock and do our promotion. And we will become Rear Admiral Upper Half. We have now gained two pips into the rear admiral. We are now at 45. We just got our bridge officer. We're going to hit 46 next. We don't get anything for that. At 47, we get tactical fleet uh, for space. That's what I was talking about, that tactical ability that we got for ground. This is the space version of it, but we won't get it till 47. So on when we hit 47, we'll talk about the space version of that. 
And then nothing for 48 or 49. Skill points, however, we do have more skill points we can spend. I'm going to go ahead and increase my armor up a bit. And do I need advanced tactics? No, I do use fire on my mark, but it's like, nah, I don't need the point for that. Um, I've got pretty good into weapon performance. Man, just where to go next? I'm going to read your replies to my emails because I'm not sure where to go next on my skill points. So we'll just wait. We'll wait again. Okay. Um, no, we don't want Bajor. We want DS9. Here we go with these load times again. Sometimes they stall and literally get stuck and do not move for ages. I once sat here for 10 minutes for me to get to DS9. It was quite ridiculous. I don't know if that's what's gonna happen again or not here. If it does, I'll pause the video, but I'm not sure. Come on, you can load, I know it. All right, it seems to be stuck again because normally it would load in about now. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back whenever this thing finally loads into DS9. I hate this, oh, there it goes, wait, wait, it's moving. It's moving slowly, so slowly. Come on, come on, just a little bit more. You can do it. This apparently affects a lot of people. I'm not the only one affected by this. This happens to me on DS9 and ESD. The, those are the two map transfers that didn't used to happen, but once New Dawn came out, uh, for some reason, now those two load incredibly slow for me. All right, I'm gonna pause the video because this is ridiculous. Okay, I am back. That was absolutely ridiculous. It wouldn't load. I ended up having to actually log out of the game or force close the game and then log back in and then it got stuck again, but then it finally went in. Absolutely ridiculous that it has a map transfer problem like that. And um, yeah, just not good game. Not good. Sarish, what How do you have? How can I help you? My name is Sarish Minna. I hold the rank of commander in Starfleet. I am the Operations Officer for Deep Space Nine. I also serve informally as a liaison to the Bajor Militia and the Vedic Assembly. And I'm the subject matter expert on Bajor. Being Bajoran myself, I know the people and have their trust. How can I help you? Well, that doesn't tell me anything. She says she has something to tell me on DS9. I come to her and she's got nothing to tell me. Nothing at all. Well, that doesn't jive hmm outreach chapel system patrol uh, just extra stuff you can do Patro another patrol patrol you can do but uh, that's just extra stuff bridge officers well she said she had something for me but she lied there was something else popped up oh oh curland Curlin temporal offerings now. We're not going to do all that. Well, okay. I don't know. She said she had something for me, but she really doesn't, so she lied. Let's get to Earth Space Dock and get our promotion. I'm gonna put her right in the hole here. 
Fly right in. Yay. Quinn, I'm coming for you. Better have my donuts ready. Oop, that was the wrong button. I meant to, oh, that was the wrong button too. I meant to <laughs> I meant to do the run fast button. I'm hitting all the wrong ones. Congratulations, Admiral. You have conquered yet another milestone on your journey through Starfleet. You still have challenges ahead of you, but I am confident that you will be able to do anything you set out to do. Good luck. Gold members have earned a retraining token to change skill points. We are not a gold member. We are a free-to-play member, so we do not get a retrain. We do get a promotion to Rear Admiral. I get a costume change and expertise, and that's it. That's it, folks. No new ship at 45. That's right. No new ship at 45. Now, we didn't expect one. Normally, you would expect one to be at 50, because you get one every 10 grades. So let's find out in five grades, when we get to 50, if we get a new ship or not. If not, well, we, we might have a problem. <laughs> we'll see. Where am I going right now? I'm going the wrong place. Wanted to go to the tailor to put on my pips. Put on my proper pips. So, we'll go to modify, uni, form, and let's do, um, oops, let's do rear admiral, upper half. There we go. Upper half. And as you can see, we only have one additional outfit. Well, actually, we don't have any. We cannot create any additional outfits. Just simply cannot create any new outfits. You have to be in a fleet to unlock that outfit. Or I guess you can buy more in the Z store. Two slots for 250 Zen. Okay, let's go out, exit, and look at ourself. There's two pips there. There they are. Two pips. So we are Rear Admiral Lower Half. We are the correct rank. Hooray for us. So, there you go, folks. That is the uh, the new link. Hope you all enjoyed that. And we have now made 45. We are Rear Admiral Upper Half, so we're making some progress. The next mission is Second Wave. That starts a five-series featured episode series that is really good and, by the way, has some awesome gear. There, we're going to get a Jim Hadar ground set that is going to take us all the way through endgame, all the way through to level 60. And I'll explain that when we get the pieces, but it's so good that I will probably replay those missions to get all of the ground gear, and that is an armor, a shield, and a weapon for a full two-piece and three-piece bonus set. The first set we will get on our character here that has any kind of bonuses to it. And it is quite useful. It is going to be the best ground set we can get until the reputation systems open and we grind those. Literally, it's going to be the best ground set we can get. And that's going to be the one that you want to keep on yourself all the way through in-game until you get something better. And it's the Jim Hadar ground set. So this, these next five episodes, we're going to get that set. I'll go over that. It's very important. But that's what's going to help you get through in-game. And you want it, you want to get it, and you want to put it on. It's going to be better than anything else. All right, so that's that. The other thing was we did get a tech upgrade, which I was quite happy about. Where'd it go? I guess they put it under R&D. Yes, they do. So this is a superior beam weapon tech upgrade. It gives a very large technology point. You can use it on beam weapons or a beam weapon console. Um, and it will upgrade your weapons. Of course, you'll have to use dilithium 2 to upgrade that, but that will help upgrade uh, either the the uh, version of it, like if it's a Mark 11 to Mark 12 or 12 to 13 or something like that, or it will help the rarity if you've already got it up to Mark 14. So what we will do is use it, but not right now. We're going to use it much, much, much later on because I want to wait to, of course, till we get to end game level 60 and see what we end up with. And I don't want to waste spending tech upgrades on things that I may not be using for very long. 
only want to use a tech upgrade on stuff that's going to remain my end game space gear or beam weapons. So I'll wait because Mark 10 is not the top end that I'm going to get. You know, once we get up to level 50, we'll get Mark 11 and 12 drops. So, you know, I'll have better versions through drops until we get to 60 and then eventually eventually I can upgrade weapons then maybe I can upgrade a beam to mark 13 or something so we'll do that then so I'm gonna I'm gonna save it and wait there will be a time to use it I am gonna sell everything I got from this mission however including that dual beam bank because I don't want it. But before I do, because it's such a high dollar item and I'm only going to get 19,000 from the vendor here, um, I am actually going to check and see what it costs in the exchange and see if I might can get some more energy credits out of the exchange. That's something you can do as well. Once you start getting really high dollar items, instead of just selling it to a vendor because you're only going to get like 50% from a vendor or something like that. Um, you can see if you're going to get more out of the exchange. So they don't have one that has chance and damage. I don't even know if I can sell it. Oh, you know what? I can't even sell it on the exchange, so no point in even checking. Okay, so I, it's something I can't sell. It must be bound or something. Yeah, it is bound to character. Okay, because it was a mission reward, it's bound to character. Well, poop. So I cannot sell that on the exchange. Anything that's bound to character, no selling on the exchange. So I'm only going to be able to get what I can get out of the vendor. Oh, well, at least I tried. So we'll just go ahead and sell it for 19000 whatever. All right. Anyway, that brings us up to 107000 energy credits now and we've got enough dilithium to use that tech upgrade when we need to use it um, so that's good we're in a good place right now we just need to play the next series of missions and get our Jim Hadar ground gear which is going to really help us out for the future okay everyone thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one